All right, so what is wrong with the stupid alarm clock? I use this in my garage, and some of the segments aren't lighting because of the strobe effect of the camera. You can see I'm kind of cycling in and out there. But look, if I go to set the time on it, nothing happens at all. Alarm light goes on and off, but I can't set the time or anything. And what I noticed the other day is when I went out there, it was just stuck on 12, not even flashing, just stuck on 12. I'm thinking it's got a bad filter cap, so let's go ahead and pop it open and see what's inside. I mean, it's a really cheap little alarm clock. I don't even think I can set the alarm on it. No, can't even set the alarm. It's like a $10 clock, but I hate to throw it in the trash when I can save it from the e-waste. Well, there's everything that's in it. HF1932 IC in there. The date code on it is, what is that, 01? 2001, well, it, it made it almost 20 years. Not bad for probably a 10 or $15 alarm clock, but I see a couple of diodes down there and I do see a filter cap in here. 220 microfarad, 16 volt cap. Let's drag the ESR meter out just for the heck of it and see what it checks like. 220 mic cap, I expect to see half an ohm or less on a fairly good cap, probably three quarters of an ohm or less on a cheap Chinacon cap. And the winner is open. Well, let's go ahead and slam another cap into it real quick and see if it makes a difference. Well, there it is in all its glory, 220 at 16. United is the name on it, and it is 85 degrees Celsius. Well, unfortunately, all I have to put back in it is a Nichicon 220 at 50. It is a 105 degree cap, so should last more than 10 years. Okay, 220 at 50 installed. Let's go ahead and power it up. And look at that, all the segments are working. It is much brighter in person and the segments are not fading in and out. It is not C70L, looks like 12 o'clock. It's just the strobe effect of the camera. Well, let's see if we can get this thing back together. But first, let's go ahead and measure the voltage across this cap when it's operating normally and just see what the voltage actually is. Well, it is 15.17 volts. I could definitely get away with a 16 volt cap. I'd rather see a 25 in there. And man, they were pushing the limit on this thing at 16 volts. They really should have used a 25 volt cap. Probably would have lasted a minute or two longer, but hopefully I can get another 20 years out of this thing in my garage before it finally gives up the ghost. Man, while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and clean the mode select switch. The alarm on off switch. I don't think I'll put any dielectric on it. I think I'm just gonna run it as is and call it good. Can you imagine the worker that builds these things? What do you do all day? I build cheap Chinese alarm clocks. We have blue ones. We have green ones, we have red ones. I think this one got dropped somewhere along the way because the bottom latches are bad. But the top ones are okay, so that's just fine. I don't think this thing has ever seen a 9-volt battery. In fact, probably the 9-volt battery clip is worth more than the whole clock itself. All right, let's turn some lights off. Power it on. Press the time set button. Look at that. Can we set the alarm on it? Well, we'll wait and see if it beeps. But that's it, the repair on the... There's not even a freaking brand name back here. Basic Model 3115, Model 9117. It just says Advance on the front of it. Works great. Thanks for watching.